I think we're actually in a time of accelerated disruptive change. Healthcare is notoriously resistant to, to changing its business models and its models of care, but um, we live in a digital society and we don't have a digital healthcare experience. Consumers are expecting and demanding it, that's putting pressure, and now we have external agencies big tech companies coming in and forming healthcare companies, retail companies coming in and forming healthcare mergers. And we've got artificial intelligence redefining the roles that individuals will play within the healthcare environment. So I think we're in a time of accelerated change. Where will we be in five years? I think some traditional clinical roles will be very different in five years. The diagnostics especially, pathology, radiology, ophthalmology, people who sit and do the kind of work that a computer can do, high volume work uh, where they're looking for patterns, that's something that can be offloaded and automated. When we think about our, our workforce constraints, we really start, need to start freeing up the higher order top of license functions for our clinicians and removing some of that administrative work. One of the other projects that I'm really excited by is some work that we're doing with, with UPMC around the intelligent digital scribe. There was a study that came out last year that suggests that clinicians are spending 43% of their time in the US documenting in the electronic medical record and that administrative overhead is causing frustration and burnout. So we hope that we will be able to use artificial intelligence to not just recognise but also understand the doctor-patient interaction and prospectively and intuitively create a medical note. Um, I think that concept of voice is here to stay. We see it in the consumer home. I see it coming to healthcare and changing how we actually record care.